Hello and welcome to the 12 to 14 year old category. I thought we'd have a quick look through at some of the stunning um, examples that the students uh, sent in and these are the, sh the shortlisted candidates and I'll be revealing the, the winner at the end. Um, the, we often sometimes think of animals living in the sea and animals living on land as being quite a strict division but actually in fact it's a much more blurred line um, with some animals. And when we look at their skeletons what we start to see is a great deal of similarity. Um, you know, similar scapulars, humuses, humuses, radius, ulnuses, repeating vertebrae on the, the blue whale here. So a really creative comparison um, of mammal structures going into water, coming out of water onto land and then back into water again. Really, really smart. Um, okay. This is a really good bit of classical uh, analysis uh, from the skeleton up through to looking at the digestive system and then analysis of the skull and then external appearance as we were just saying is really something to think about too. Looking here at um, uh, a sea turtle, like the pentadactyl limb, uh, looking at how that has morphed into being a flipper and uh, beautifully drawn, really elegant pencil work, classical bit of natural history I think we can say there. Peacock and all this wonderful glorious display all beautifully kind of analysis analyzed. I see there's no room for the head there so we put the head up there quite right too. Um, this is very good on the seahorse and it's got the trunking and this concave trunking on them which is really worth looking about that I've seen the student has written about here. A very detailed breakdown of the skull again um, looking at all the different components of, of the skull plates and then some interior sort of squidgy bits as I have to think of them, hearts, gallbladders, stomachs, and looking at the tube that passes through the seahorse so it can get its nutrition. Uh, this is rather beautiful, but you'll agree. And it's got analysis of some very interesting details. The eye, which I haven't seen anyone look at that before. A breakdown of the bones again, here. And then four bones for the feet. You find the same number in a velociraptor. I always find that quite interesting. And here we have a, uh, a lobster, American lobster, beautifully rendered in its orange paint here. And here we can see the different mouth parts, the rostrum, the antennae, mouth parts, uh, the legs labelled up here, and the, the front ones going into pincers. One of our friends here, the cephalopod, it builds these little chambers as it grows. These are filled with air. It's the siphuncle has a hole in it and then the Nautilus can squirt air into it so it can move up and down to the water, water. And this here, interestingly, is a logarithmic spiral that's very beautifully drawn. And it's the same spiral as the arms of the galaxy. It's the same mathematical spiral as a ram's horn. It's actually the same mathematical spiral that Mott can take. This is by Hazel Nahr. I think you agree it's absolutely stunning. A piece of illustration work I could easily see in a, a magazine or book. Reflections up here on the eye and makes it look like it's alive. We've got some details up here of the anatomy of the scales that go around it. Noticing the vertical pupil, um, looking at inside the animal, all these repeating vertebrae on the inside. But it's, um, I think, just a stunning piece of artwork. Um, beautifully labelled, labelled up, really nice on the black. And, uh, very well deserved first place, I think.